So we are now very much in bear country. She's out, she's out. <laughs> Morning. Today, hopefully, I'm gonna be finding a grizzly bear. So, while I stayed on this old landing, I've slept in this tent here for months. So I know this place pretty well. But I'm actually gonna go over to this other dock get in a truck and head up to the river. Hopefully there's some bears on the river today. just had our first good day of rain about a few days ago. Now this river that I'm heading up to, it rises and falls very quickly with the rain. So hopefully the river has dropped enough where the bears are actually on the river and properly fishing. Like I say, it's still pretty early, it's not even seven o'clock yet. So hopefully I can get up there before the day gets too hot because it looks like it's gonna be a hot one today. And the bears, well, even though they're in the river, they're wearing a thick fur coat. Would you want to be out in the sun all day if it was really hot with a fur coat on? I don't think so. Here we are. Sail Cone, the lodge that I work for, one of the trips they run is bringing guests up here to see bears fishing on the river for themselves. It's an amazing adventure, it really is. You're right in the heart of the Great Bear Rainforest. So we are now very much in bear country. They could be anywhere. I've seen them on the trails I'm about to walk. So I've got a pepper spray, a bear mace just in case, but I should be absolutely fine. These bears are very comfortable around people. So hopefully all will be good, but Best be prepared. Oh, okay. Let's start walking. Oh, it's hard to say. So for continuity, I took my jumper off. But man, it's very humid today. But the river has dropped quite a lot, which is great. Now, hopefully it means the bears can catch salmon because the river is low enough. The last few days, it's been a little bit high, making it harder for them to catch them. But oh, let's see. This is a bear scat, but it's a salmon poo. So they've been eating a lot of salmon, these bears. When they eat salmon, it turns more grayish, sludgish, and smells not great. When they eat berries, it's quite pretty. I think it almost looks like a galaxy because it's dark with lots of red and orange seeds from all the berries they've been eating. Oh, I don't know, good sign. Obviously means 
There are bears around. Oh, good stuff. So I've been here for about an hour now, still no luck. I'm still hopeful though, I'm still hopeful. I'm just slightly worried that the sun's gonna come out because if you get bright sunshine on this white water, on the waterfalls, then for me, photos just don't work because where the bears tend to go is in the shade and then the water's in the sun. So it's just too much dynamic range to be dealing with there. So it's just not worth it. But there is another spot I can go to, so it's not all done yet. But no, I'm going to stay here for a, another half an hour and just hope because, oh, if you see bears fishing on these falls, it is magical. So fingers crossed, <laughs> but still not a bad place to sit and wait for a while. Well, I tried, I waited a couple of hours, nothing. So I'm gonna go down to a second view spot. It's a bit of a walk, it's about just under two kilometers, which isn't too bad, but the terrain's a bit uneven. <laughs> oh well, all part of being in the wilderness. Yeah, gutted, I was really hoping I would see a bear there. Not sure why they're not fishing at the moment. After this rain, I'm sure a lot of salmon that were in the mouth of the river in the ocean have now moved up into the freshwater system. Oh well, we'll try again. Hopefully this spot I'll have a little bit more luck. Now this is a rub tree. It's also a scratching tree, so it's both. So there are cougar scratches here, so a mountain lion. So they use that to sharpen their claws. And then a grizzly bear will stand up and rub up against all of this. So you can see a massive grizzly bear fur and all the scratches. I'm not gonna touch it because I don't wanna get our human scent on it. But I have had a trail camera over here. So hopefully there's some cool footage of a bear scratching on here. If there is, I'll put it in this video. Yeah, awesome stuff. So I'm now just gonna wait here. I'm sitting on this little point so I can look downriver and upriver as well. So hopefully I can maximize my chance of finding a bear. But ooh, it's been quite a few bold eagles taking off, which is actually a good sign. If there's bold eagles around, it means that there might have been a bear here that's caught fish, so they're going after the scraps, or that there is a bear there and it's trying to steal the fish off the bear once it's caught it which has been known to happen, especially by the ravens. Cheeky things. Yeah, I guess 
All I can do now is wait. Well, I've been here for over an hour, nothing. I cannot let this day be a no bear day. The last time I didn't see bears in the season, which has only been once so far, was when I tried to make a YouTube video. It was earlier on in the season, so the bears weren't on the river. So I tried to film it along the coast where the bears are rolling rocks, looking for crabs, eating mussels, barnacles, sedge grass, things like that but it was the one day of the season I didn't see a bear and I filmed the whole thing and I really hope today is not going to be the same. I haven't got more opportunities to try and do a video because I can only do this on my day off and well this is the last day off I have for the season. Oh, just fingers crossed, come on, come on bear, think bear thoughts, think bear thoughts. I'm still hopeful. I think the spot I was at first, that's where we'll see one. So I might stay here for another five, ten minutes and then head back up that way. Come on. It's quite cool because you can see all the salmon jumping up the waterfalls. Now I'm just, oh, oh, yeah, she's out, she's out, she's out. That was awesome. She caught a fish, ate it there in front of me. I was able to get some pictures of that, which was cool. I didn't get any video of her catching it, but she's headed up into the forest now. Oh, amazing. Just worth all of that time waiting. Yeah, and I think I, think I got a nice one in here. Well, that was amazing. I have to leave now because I got to get back to the lodge in time for the new guests. I did have a few days off and well this is what I chose to do with my days off, come up and do exactly what I'm doing on my job. But ah, oh. well hopefully you've enjoyed the video, it's been a lot of fun making it, it's been very different to the other ones, uh, especially from the Mara, Whew, hell of a different video from there. But yeah, if you've enjoyed it give it a thumbs up, but uh, yeah until then. Have a good one.